Uh, are you in the same groups like last time? I think you were somewhere in the front row, right? Achha, but that's the group, okay. <laughs> so because what we are going to do is, I have found uh, on Moodle that you all have submitted your mind maps, come concept maps, come mix of mind and concept maps, which is good. And uh, we have a review of those mind maps later in the class today. So it's important that you be in the same group so that you can review someone else's mind map. So any cross group activity will will just hold that point. What we saw was the process of creating a presentation and which starts with planning and then goes to execution and finally was the impress part. I'm trying to see if uh, we can finish it off today itself or we may just uh, cross over for another session, maybe next time. But what we are today going to talk about is the execute part, which we have come up to this point now of uh, creating outline and a bulleted detailed content of that. Today's uh, session is concentrated mostly on use of graphics. Uh, this is one question I have been faced with a lot of times being a visual communication person myself. So what are the graphics to be used and when they have to be used are the typical questions. So I'm going to devote a larger amount of time on use of graphics in presentations. And of course, we'll have the impress part later where we'll talk about how to actually show it off to people. They're concentrating on this. So you remember this, right? Uh, how many people associate this sentence with a visual? And what was that visual? Do you associate this sentence with the visual in my last presentation? What was that? Yeah, poster of Dabang, right? That, that's the power of visuals. You will never forget this association now, probably. If I say everyone loves stories, you remember Dabang, right? OK, so there were submissions of this mind maps and concept maps. By the way, this is a interesting mind map if you Google for this uh, online, you'll find out. This is a mind map about a mind map. And uh, there is also a parallel uh, text given to this, which is around three to four paragraphs about mind map. And they, they keep asking this question that, do you make sense out of those four paragraphs or this mind map? And try to recreate those four paragraphs using this mind map. And it's a very interesting exercise. So sometime you can give it a try. It's very easy to construct those four paragraphs using just one graphic which is given here. Okay, so there were some submitted mind maps when I uh, offered this course earlier in 2013, 14, 15, but you can't see this. Uh, barely readable, right? Uh, anyway, I will try to read it out for you. Uh, so the topic that time was given was uh, titled as accidental discoveries. So within this science domain, so how people discovered something very accidentally and what, what could be the presentation for that. Same thing like what I had given you the topics only about IIT Bombay, uh, uh, some uh, contextual thing for IIT Bombay campus. That time it was slightly wide open. So what were the accidental discoveries? So it starts with this center of accidental discoveries and uh, motivation behind the talk was why scientific discoveries, how this talk is going to be useful to us, and the connection to whatever MTech PhD we are doing. Then there was an introduction uh, explaining the topic, giving an example of discovery of America, and describe some scientific discoveries. So she selected five discoveries, and what is the name, what is the functionality, who did discover it, what was the preparation, what was the careless action which led to the discovery and uh, what is the analysis of the result and what is the final discovery. And then she has also given the names of those five discoveries as penicillin, x-rays, radioactivity, pacemeter and, uh, pacemaker and uh, microwave. And then there was a conclusion. What interesting I found in this submission was the sense of timing. So she had actually calculated how much time should be distributed for each of the sections. So like you see here, uh, motivation would be 
Uh, we didn't have actually a presentation that time. In 2013, we didn't give a chance to students to exactly present these things because it's a group of presentations. Uh, I believe in this course also, you are supposed to present for five minutes at the end of the course about a topic of your choice. So this was interesting to see. For example, the, the weightage given for describing five discoveries is seven and a half minutes, where she obviously knows that there will be a uh, lot of time required to explain these five points, and then that's why the timing is more, and so on and so forth. So the planned stage is done very well, so that you know you are not going to overshoot something or undershoot anything. So this is this is important to know how much time are we going to spend on that. Uh, there was one more about software piracy. It's a very simple mind map. Just cause the cause, effects, and remedies. So there are just three bubbles. What are the causes? And there are some causes. What are the effects of those things? And then what are the remedies for that? I saw similar bubbles, I think, in some of your submissions also for certain very straightforward things. So now what we should do is. Uh, we should peer review your submissions. And I have the printouts of those. I've deliberately uh, printed them on A3 papers so that you can read them. You know, most of the softwares actually uh, lack that property of fit to page or something like that. So I found a lot of people struggled with getting the font size correct when they had created a bigger mind map. Uh, and I will talk about it later, uh, how to get that thing sorted out. But for right now, uh, if you tell me the name of the mind map you have made, I'll ensure that you don't get the same thing back. OK, so what was your topic? Don't take yours, pass it on. You have a privilege to pick up whatever you want to choose. Don't take yours, that's the key. <laughs> you took yours? <laughs> or take yours and then swap, that's also fine. <laughs> Just pick up one. If it is yours, pick up the next. <laughs> OK, so what the have you got now? Food quality and wastage. That was not your topic. So good. By the way, who submitted food quality and wastage? I? Oh. <laughs> he also raised his hand, so I was wondering. <laughs> OK, you submitted food quality and wastage. Uh, four of us. Four of you. Yeah. You don't have to really spend time on choosing one, just pick up one. <laughs> so what now you have to do is the following. Identify the hierarchy issues in the mind map. Uh, what I mean by hierarchy issues is that if the bubble which is uh, emerging from the center, is it the first level bubble or the second level bubble? Or is there some bubble in the second or third level which should be the first level bubble, but gone somewhere deep down? Right? So identify such bubbles which you feel should be at the first level and not at the second level or third level or vice versa. Something very trivial which has come as a first bubble should be pushed down under some bubble. So that uh, decision making you have to do right now, first of all. And secondly, rearrange them uh, if you. And thirdly, which is not written here, if you want to add a bubble to it which is not present there, that is the three point thing you have to do. And then we'll discuss it. I should see some extra drawings on those papers and uh, some rearrangement. And I would like now to uh, request the groups to come here and show the suggestions what they have in mind uh, to all of us. And the group which has prepared the original one should defend it or accept it. Okay. So uh, let's start. So this group had a food wastage topic. Who had given that? Submitted? Okay, great. Come, come. You can keep it under this so that everybody can see it. <coughs> By the way, just show the original one first of all. Okay, uh, so one quick comment about what this group had done. Uh, one of the most important things they were able to achieve and they should tell when they come on stage is uh, the visual quality of the mind map was great. It was perfectly readable because now you see some of the present, uh, the mind maps you have in your hands 
the readability is the issue but they had managed to do a better job of this thing so they had done this part and uh, now let us hear from the group which actually dissected the whole thing sir in this uh, the mass and content should be the level 1 but we are focusing on the quality and the wastage so it should be the level 1 and the mass and content should be goes down and uh, in the feedback system, uh, system the remedy action should not be there so we have uh, also discussed about the remedy actions and the in, in quality we have added a point that proper cleaning of utensils is not there so we have added the one more point yes sir under quality in under quality so the hygiene of uh, uh, means kitchen as well as there should be hygiene of labor also so we have included that also but not written but in an hygiene should be specify all the things so within hygiene you want means labor as well as kitchen okay. means labor should be also hygiene so it is uh, affected the quality of the food so in the food uh, we have done the quality and wastage the level 1 and in quality we have some points we can be written in this section and these are the points under wastage so all the points should be categorized under three canteen mess and cafeteria so if uh, some points should under canteen so we have written 1 2 3 4 so we have uh, choose from the points from these are these are the some points what are the points should be under canteen should be written in this section and under mess as well as cafeteria so all the points should be taken uh, to the feedback system and action and again to the level 1 wastage uh, as well as quality department our idea of bringing the mess and canteen on the first uh, and the first hierarchy after the food quality is these are the main sources of the food at the campus so uh, we wanted to specify that these are the main sources that we have to take care about and from then we segregated here what is the main issues with the quality and wastage from these two sources and then we tried to correlate all these things together and uh, from the quality and wastage point of view uh, we had some points and we made a feedback loop from both the points i mean uh, one if we are uh, looking at the quality what are the particular points and uh, whatever is lagging in those within those points we can take a feedback from there and then it can be uh, reiterated to improve the quality further similarly i think uh, in this uh, uh, what uh, they have suggested is uh, to take the quality and wastage right at the first and uh, you segregate canteen mess and cafeteria differently Uh, my question was before getting to the point wouldn't it be uh, okay to first discuss what are the sources that we are dealing with if we are going like a story so you don't just get to the climax at first you have to put in some introduction i mean if our problem is food quality and wastage so shouldn't be the first thing is what are the sources of food and uh, what we have at the at our campus that's just my one point so so the topic is food wastage Uh, food quality and wastage so the opening sentence is food quality and wastage on the campus depends on these sources mess and canteens on the campus that is one opening line second line is uh, the to determine the food quality and wastage let us see what are the sources of these things and what are the quality issues and the wastage issues and then figure out from where are they coming in so which story will you buy so uh, in my opinion uh, okay which story will you buy and why sir which we have done this is better <laughs> <laughs> what is the third party opinion any <laughs> these guys will stick to their own guns any opinion yeah. so i want to add one point that <coughs> amount of wastage will be inversely proportional to the quality of the food if you have the good quality food wastage will be less if you can <coughs> consider this quality and wastage you can rate the different messes or canteens under the quality highest quality mess is hostel number something 
or highest quality canteen is some near hostel 8 or near uh, or you can consider staff canteen or any canteen so you can rate according to quality about the mess and you can rate according to the wastage so you can easily observe the inverse proportion i think he has brought in one positive point to the discussion what what you were talking about is the problems with quality problems with wastage and then going in the direction of <coughs> Okay, where are the sources of the problems? Where are the sources of this thing? What he is saying that, okay, what is ideal quality? Uh, define that. And if there is ideal quality, there will be zero wastage. Uh, right, so uh, that is what he is coming up with. And later on, you can go to problem se section that, okay, this is the thing. So this is very in interesting thing to observe that the same sentence can be perceived by so many people in so many di different ways. And uh, to tell you, there is no right or wrong answer to the approach. It is decided when you present and you get a lot of hooting on the presentation, then you know that it is not working for that audience, probably. It may be a good presentation for some other audience, but not for that audience. So if you say that hostel 15 is the worst food ever and then that there are a lot of 15 patterns there, then they will not digest this fact probably. Uh, so it depends on the context, but there is absolutely uh, the way you present becomes the the decider when you say that which is the best approach. Sir, I think I want to suggest one more thing that as I, I, IIT is taking more efforts for, for uh, regarding the care of the students. So I want to suggest one thing. So IIT is uh, hiring much more employees for different aspects like sports, uh, like for gym or anything. It can, it can be suggested that uh, IIT can hire one or two cooks, experts and that can uh, rate on the daily basis for the different messes or canteens how the good quality is there and accordingly the certification should be given to the messes or canteens so this is a way to to monitor right so uh, they, they had put up some comments about how to monitor quality and how to monitor wastage so this can be a way so you can see that uh, when you open it up uh, because you wrote they added a feature to it both of you wrote then he added a feature to it so it just keeps on growing the challenge of the presenter is to imagine all corners of the room and accommodate one point for each of the person to nod his or her head is the challenge and that is why you need brainstorming at a very high level. When you do brainstorming, uh, if you pull up all the points you have in your mind, there is a high probability that you will cover each and every person's approach included in the presentation. That's how it can go on. So because four of you did brainstorming, you came up with something. If 30 people will do brainstorming, I think you can make a better presentation immediately. So that's how you have to go. Thank you very much. Can you uh, take your presentation? Yeah, you take this. Achha, you Actually, you will have to carry this now. You will get yours back after the comments. Ah, now you take your. Ah, OK, OK, no problem. You are getting turns <laughs> to speak. That's a good strategy that there are defenders and there are attackers. <laughs> okay. So these are defenders which are going back now and now the presenters will come in. <laughs> which is the topic you have? Waste management in IIT. Waste management. Who submitted this uh, mind map on waste management? Okay. So you please keep making notes about what they are saying because you have to defend it later on. Uh, good morning all. Uh, the first thing that we noticed that the presentation is not clear that we are roaming here and there where is the start where is the end second thing is that the more focus is on biodegradable things what about the non biodegradable apart from that some of the things that like buses are mentioned over there so i think very few buses are there inside the campus that is running on the biofuels so you hardly find some issues with the buses and dumping the things opening so till date i haven't find anything that is dumped openly inside the campus so these are the things that we find out and apart from that we have mentioned very specific that some cow is there some person is there all together so it is a bit confusing what you need to point out here so coming back to that uh, we came with some very different thing uh, in that we have done the heading with the waste management it is somewhat hierarchy level and you can see from here that it is keep on decreasing with the amount of wastage amount of 
creating the problem. So first, we have divided the waste management from the source and sink. Where is the source? Where is the sink? If we don't have the sink, we can't manage the waste. So the source is uh, human waste. Around more than 5,000 people inside the campus all the time. So we find it the first. Second is the missed foods. Most often, all 5,000 people are not taking food every day. Third is the labs. We have the n number of labs, and they are having. We don't know how much waste is there for each lab. Lab carries both biodegradable, non-biodegradable. So lab it is in both. Non-biodegradable also it carries the lab. And last one is the paper. So most often we are using the electronic media to write lot of things, but sometimes we need to go for the paper and all. So this is the paper wastage. And non-biodegradable part, plastic bags. On every day, I don't think that around 5,000 people, more than 1,000 people are ordering something on the Flipkart, Amazon and all. So these all things are delivered in the plastic pack bags. There is nothing recycling inside the campus, what we find it and lab electronics item all we are having minimum two mobiles at a time right now I can find out electronics item construction every day there is some construction work is going on inside the campus so I am going long or sir I sir time is okay shall I reduce and last one is metal cycles so most often we leave the campus we leave the cycle back to the campus so we have tried to keep the one to one relationship okay so First one is the human waste, so we went for the sewage management. Second one, food wastage, we go for the biogas plant, for the labs, chemical solutions and all. For the paper, paper recycling, we can go for the news. So we can see, we are having this left side problem, we are having the solution to the right side. So we can manage with that. And it is somewhat said incomplete, we can go again back to the recycling it. Thank you. Yeah. Actually, our main focus was actually the food management. We are not uh, classifying into different classification, first of all. Actually, we wanted to concentrate on one particular segment, actually. So in that segment, we concentrated on food management. Means like whatever the waste is available as part of like, uh, we can reuse that waste. OK, as part of that one only we focused. And based on that only we prepare the like whatever mind mapping is available in that. So the comment I have at this point is that make it clear. Uh, loud and clear, then what is the focus of it? Yes. It's not about waste management and Yes, it's only it's correct section of, section of it, only the it's very clear section about like the consumable waste, whatever available in the like in the canteen, whatever the waste is available. Somewhere it, they are dumping it to the some yards actually. So they are not utilizing that whatever the it may be not inside the ATB, it's outside the ATB. Might be somewhere else they are throwing out actually. I, so is this point that you have spoke the topic? Yes. 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 You said five minutes. Yes. Only one thing and then concentrate on that topic. What to do that one actually? Now, yeah. now reflect on uh, yes. the part which they had a play that you don't know where to start and where. Yeah, actually they are means that's what actually they are starting where to start exactly so the starting point first phase basically the waste biomass actually so is we have a so that is actually the waste biomass in that put me at this question thing that tell us where where to start okay <laughs> yeah exactly right actually first of all the waste it is their biomass what we are doing we are dumping to the yard okay, so the comment here is that if you feel that is the starting point of the mindset or the concept it is not enough that you feel that it is the starting. The rest of the world also should feel that that is the starting. Yeah. It is very important in creating any such graphics. Okay. The graphics are, and you have arrows. Yes. You don't have, uh, so it's not a very ambiguous situation. You have arrows, you have sizes, you have, in fact, use very nice graphics to uh, add on top of it. It is not just textual uh, concept that you have. You have Actually, we wanted to add some physical, like the practical scenarios, what we are just doing it. You have messed up on the fact of the hierarchy of the Correct. Yes. Is by others. So only you can explain it right now. Right? No it's not a yeah. example of communication. Correct. Okay. Yes, actually, now, we. Just yeah. reflect on their, their mind. Just show the other one. Uh, they have divided into the like the they have like wide source of thing they are not, not narrowed on actually 
they have actually they spread it into all over the things how you will focus on the in the within short time how you manage all the things in the single segment just concentrate on the single point of source and try to resolve that point and then try to give some application oriented things that will be the good idea you are concentrating all the problems at a time and you are not resolving in single problem you will end up with a, some abrupt way so that is not the way to come up with as of my understanding and as we are, I agree with that, the source and sink is right actually, the whatever you are divided into like uh, human waste and mess food, that is what actually ours point also same only, the whatever the human waste and mess food and whatever the papers, lab facility, whatever that can be usable for the some, some application, we can just reuse it that, that is what we are also identified, but we are not put on the like as you identified as the bullet points actually, so we are not directed towards uh, all the identified points. Any comments? Yes sir, that we are agree with that we need to add some of the points and then we need to ha delete some of the points in that. Yes, yes that is what uh, if we agreed that actually that need to be modified that is what our <laughs> we agreed for that actually. <laughs> yeah. In this mind map as uh, the structure shows that directly there is just a one level after the main level. So there is just a one level shown over here like uh, pros and cons and suggestions. And even if you see in the pros there are some basic facilities like libraries and that kind of thing which is not a need or pros for the academic institutions. Like if you see any academic institute library is a need, it is not pros of it. So you should not uh, as, as, well, as we thought that this should be uh, much beyond uh, at the lower level, they should be of third or fourth level because that is the very obvious thing that library will, will always be in the college campus. And the second thing is that uh, we added one of the level uh, which is the uh, you can say the R&D department for managing the infrastructure waste. For example, there are some recycl recyclable waste is uh, occurring through the infrastructures. So which can be utilized again for re recycling purposes and one more thing which we thought which should be here is that the infrastructure, infrastructure should be uh, the uh, disable friendly as uh, our I IIT campus is all already it is. So that you can highlight as a pro, pro point at a somewhat higher level which we have mentioned with this uh, pen marking. So though this structure is not completed due to time limitation but uh, we have tried our best to complete it on the left side you can see that from the building infrastructure there goes one uh, disable friendly infrastructure then one point goes to the basic academic facilities which then goes to the library or book bank and then that library goes to online and offline facilities so uh, according to us there should be some structure there should be more sub points coming after not directly the pros and cons okay, of the first library first second uh, first level second level hmm. instead, of that, instead of that there should be more level okay. downwards so respond to this so we are agree upon that that we, there should be multiple levels of the infrastructure and building but i don't think online library facility comes under infrastructure i'm saying first of all talk about whether you require multiple levels in this mind what is their first object? so you can extend the topic at the any level you can make any parts according to uh, priorities right. in the building and infrastructure we can go for the hostel we can go for the sub part of the academic section non academic section in that you can go for the uh, departments yeah, then labs multiple levels, multiple levels are required yes. that is right that is right multiple levels are uh, already required and out so many pros in one level. There are sub levels within pros also. Okay. We can go for pros in the department, in the labs yes. and in the and hostel. All, in fact, that is, that is also again just documentation of what is there. What I was saying is that are they according to the topic, right? You say uh, what are the uh, community places, what are, uh, what are uh, public places or okay. are there infrastructure in that types? Academic, academic and non-academic. Academic, non-academic, residential, academic. So, already so something, so that should be, so this well-equipped classroom and library will all come under academic, academic. Okay. infrastructure versus residential infrastructure you can have houses and uh, other hostels and all that. So 
there should be some classification within pros also. Because like all of them can't. We, we can classify pros into. We can classify pros uh, yeah. in academic, academic, non-academic, residential. So one thing is well taken that we require multiple levels of classification in yes. that mind map because only two stage line mind map when you are submitting. Okay, so that is taken up. Next point how about their thing? You can comment on that. About what your suggestion? Yeah, suggestion. Suggestion. So add some future things like uh, recyclable material for creating new infrastructure. Yeah. More facilities and uh, there are shortage of uh, accommodation for married people in IIT. Yeah. So it is there. We are. It is there. There is a shortage. shortage. We are added shortage there in the comments. Ah, okay. Yeah. So now <laughs> let me let me intervene. Okay. So what happens is now uh, it is going to the the nitty gritties of the presentation. So it, it is just boiling down to a single point versus non, not having that point. But uh, if you take a larger picture, the, the problems what they have found out, one was about the uh, lack of uh, multiple levels, which you have already taken up. But uh, also, uh, these guys went ahead encroaching in other domains also, like waste management message or output milega. So that can be recycled to make new infrastructure. So they, they combined waste management with infrastructure topic also to bring out something else. So this is a uh, never ending topic otherwise, if you just keep on going and act. So I like the, the approach by these people when they, they took up. They said we'll scope it only to biodegradable and only present on that. However, their decision was not communicated to us at all, whether they have scoped it like that. Similarly, uh, if you decide on such things, please announce it loud and clear that you want to scope it to these levels. And uh, we are going to, so this bubble is about taking feed from other people and then we will put all these things in under that bubble. So that it is easy for people to understand why, what is the scope of this presentation I am going to see or hear now. That is all it. Okay, thank you. You can take your seats. What is the topic you received for reviewing? Okay. No, but we, we will be getting late already. You can talk about the... Energy audit, energy okay, so they had received energy audit. Who made that? Okay, so up for some comments. In their presentation, they have mentioned the energy resources and in that they have solar energy, thermal power plant, wind energy, biomass and biofuel and the piezoelectric sources. But thermal power plant is situated in the Trombay uh, and we are concentrating on the Ide Bombay. So they have taken this in the no, large manner I think and they have mentioned wind energy along with the solar energy but we have only the solar energy related things like the solar heaters in the hostels. So we have split that part the solar energy and thermal power plant that are presently existing and the wind energy and bio biomass that things are future scope. So we have made that another domain for that. Also they have not prioritized that, they are not given numbers, they are not uh, specified the priority of the uh, presentation. So you have, we have given that priority. What is your present, source? present sources is the first, then future scope is second, then analysis of consumption is third, then analysis of energy wastage is fourth and methods to reduce the waste uh, energy okay. is fifth. As far as the uh, this thermal power plant uh, thing goes, uh, we have just suggested that uh, it's situated in Trombe and we are getting the uh, power supply from uh, Trombe part. So uh, this is a, this is only a means uh, the the existing power source basically. And uh, like for for wind energy uh, and bio biomass and piezoelectric, we have just just made a, a, a slight bulb in front of mm -hmm. these kind of things. So yeah. basically these are the ideas oh. which can be so pointed out. But but we, yeah, we, we didn't. We never understood that clue uh, because time. Yeah, because. for future anyway. Yeah, because uh, we have not uh, actually specified what, what are bulbs. Okay, but yeah, there was a. The classification is exact same. What you had found out as present and future. Both of you match on that category. The only problem is so they have this, this bulbs on these things saying that these are not done yet. But that visual clue was not understood by us when we classified Yeah, uh, because it was a negligency from our side. Uh, because, so yeah. you, you know now what, what is going wrong in your yeah. communication. Okay. Yes. 
Uh, and yeah, numbering should be done. Okay. Yes, sir. Do you agree with this numbering? Oh, um, I have not so seen the number. Actually, we we had done the numbering. Uh, it's not visible. Uh, where but okay, do you agree with this number? Start with present. Yeah. Go to future. Then um, analysis of consumption. Then analysis of wastage and. Uh, Maybe, uh, maybe this future can be the last point, okay. and uh, all the others are good. Uh, okay, because how many people agree? So for I'll again read out the five things: uh, present, then future, sources of energy. Third is amount of usage. Fourth is amount of wastage, and fifth is about methods to reduce wastage. Now uh, I have a comment. How many people agree that our analysis of consumption will automatically give us analysis of wastage? Yeah. What is your usage? Uh, you just uh, say that it is extra, so you get analysis of wastage automatically. So if you keep the bulbs on 24 hours, it's a usage as well as you know that the rest of the hours is wasted. If it is required for 2 hours in a day and 24 hours it is on, 22 is obviously the wastage part. So yeah, those two points can be clubbed. Uh, yeah, there are three points can be clubbed. Three points can be, which three? Third point is amount of usage. Methods to reduce waste. So that has to be separate, right? Everybody agrees on that. But okay. There is a doubt in numbering. First, to see the analysis, what is how much is the usage, then the present scenario, then the method to reduce it, and then the. I want you to respond. Because uh, we are just suggesting that uh, what are the what are the means uh, the things in front of us. Uh, those are the present things. Uh, then then we have to go to. I think uh, future should not be touched uh, right now. Then we have to go to the amount of usage. What are the what are the things being used right now? Uh, then then we are suggesting the methods of uh, the wastage of energy uh, from where the wastage are wastage is occurring. Then then we can go to the future scopes. Uh, that uh, in future this can be done. So this this point uh, is well taken by this group also yeah. about uh, hierarchy and I think it was already present but poor printing has resulted yeah, in uh, communication actually. Yes. But uh, I think you should take some input from these people who had made a very big and bold uh, mind map which was perfectly readable on A3. Yes. Uh, even even uh, this one not, right? Even this uh, this, this one which uh, we would be presenting for for the other group, uh, the internet connectivity, uh, network and connectivity. This this one is good. Means. Yeah. Uh, so this this is only skill part. Like how you get it to the point that it is readable for each and every person, and all your ideas get communicated. Depends on the usage of fonts, size of images, and uh, uh, placement. Of Actually, uh, we uh, means. Uh, I didn't uh, uh, in in prior like uh, um, I didn't get it that uh, we should be giving it a here means on the paper. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> basically, we had to submit it to you. you didn't so know what is the context yeah. of how it is going to be used? Yeah. So you didn't know the usage pattern. You thought it so is basically these people can zoom and zoom out and then read. these all are colored basically. <laughs> so in black and white, these uh, these have become very obsolete. I think. <laughs> uh, so the topic is internet network and connectivity. Is basically very well segregated, uh, in which connections, uh, services, problems, and suggestions for improvement are very well stated. Uh, so basically, segregation is very good. Then, then the then the uh, sub points are good. Uh, only things are we can just number those points. Uh, but numbers, uh, I think the uh, if if they are not numbered, then also it's good. Means. Uh, uh, there is no need to number basically. No, uh, that's why uh, we also we, we numbered, but uh, basically there is no need to number uh, because uh, we can directly look at the connections, then services, then problems. What are problems and suggestions for improvement? So basically, those are very much uh, common things. Now, in in problems, we have uh, added a few points like uh, basically. Uh, some defective LAN ports can be there. Then, uh, as as sir suggested, the IAT big, IAT B guest login uh, for that user should be available. Uh, then, uh, power shutdown issues are there. So, in power power backup should be there. Uh, prompt power backup should be there, such that uh, we can use the LAN ports uh, as of required. 
then then in the suggestion for improvement part uh, we can provide a tutorial page for uh, iitb guest login uh, user uh, whenever the guest come in comes in uh, whenever he he registers for uh, some hostel or something like that he can be given a, a manual or something like that for to to use the internet then proper number of routers can be used uh, uh, along the camp uh, on the campus uh, because everywhere the campus is not fully Wi-Fi, so basically LAN can be eliminated because LAN can be uh, means uh, it can it can go defect uh, defective for uh, for some time. So basically Wi-Fi whole campus can be Wi-Fi. Otherwise the uh, the thing is very positive means uh, the mind map is very positive and it's good. Like um, my friend would uh, tell a story tell a story uh, for this yeah. This current topic that is the uh, internet network and connectivity and the mind map of that can be, yeah, on campus definitely. It can be correlated to uh, something which has happened, which might have happened to each and every one of us while we were at IIT previously, like last year for you know, like written test or interview, whatever we were here. So basically we were here as guests, right, for the interview and we were allotted the guest rooms and uh, when we got to our rooms, the night before the written test or the interview, we would want to check the website or uh, the other requirements essentials which we need the next day or some props of faculty members which could be our prospective guides. So we try to get to the internet but we have learned that uh, IATB has only two connectivity methods, Wi-Fi and LAN. So uh, unfortunately, uh, Wi-Fi is not available in the hostel rooms. So <laughs> we get to know that. And the other thing is the LAN. So we try to connect the LAN and uh, we find that we need LAN cables for that. So no one carries LAN cables with them <laughs> while they're traveling and, and the hostel rooms. So that, that's a problem. And uh, somehow in the middle of the night, we go to the uh, adjacent room to someone who we haven't barely met and we ask them for the LAN cables. We get that and we connect our laptops to the ports. And when we get in, it's basically IATB guest like my friend said, and that's a fresh hell. So we don't know how to connect that. Uh, there is no procedures or tutorials or something like that. So it, it is uh, a difficult thing for a new user who comes to the uh, hostel. So uh, like my friend suggested, there could be a method like when we get, at, uh, when we go to get the keys from the hall manager, they can provide a small kit, which might include some uh, manuals or tutorials on how to connect the internet for the guest users and also like something of the uh, here we have suggested the dongles of uh, internet service providers which might be like uh, Vodafone, Airtel, something like that. Uh, so you know, try to incorporate them in your mind map plus try to incorporate the best practices of creating mind map by looking at other groups and make a readable, printable and uh, Mind map by next That's the last. Go ahead. Yes, sir, sir. Starting from the sketch, the sketch is not proper. We can go for more segregation. And these are all the suggestions. They didn't go through the introduction. What are the positive points? What are the drawbacks? And then features. They didn't go through the introduction, first one, and then positive points, drawbacks and then suggestions. They had gone only through the suggestions. So I suggest different one with heading movement and navigation. First of all, we will go through the introduction in that for navigation and then for movement. Just go with the first link, then go to the second. Yeah. Then for navigation, we have the site maps. Then next is features. What are the features of navigation system and movements in our hostels or in IDB? And then the drawbacks. What are the drawbacks of navigation system and movement? And then suggestions, which are all suggestions are in the previous one. Yeah. Just we added some features, introduction and the drawbacks.